this video, we're going to be showing how the new draw line feature in the Ike Post can be used to catch a crash by drawing in the extra motion added by the post for a C-axis unwind. Ike posts have been designed to perform a tool retract in three different cases. Unwind, solution change, and instability. This video is going to focus on the unwind, but it's also applicable with the other two. An unwind occurs when a rotational limit is hit, and we need to perform an unwinding of that rotary axis to continue the cut. This retract motion is added directly into the G-code, and is performed by moving the tool back along its own axis. With most tools, this isn't much of an issue, but there's some scenarios where it's not safe, which we're going to be looking at here in a moment. To demonstrate this, we're cutting out a step of a set of steps using a saw. As the tool continually winds around and around the part, the C-axis is going to keep increasing. To show off an unwind, we've decided that we're going to post this on a machine that has a C-axis head limit of plus minus 110 degrees. It's also important to note that the geometry of this tool allows us to perform an undercut at the front of the step. When we run the part in machine simulation using the external post, we see that the post is generating that retract and unwind motion. What we also see is that it's occurring during the undercut, crashing in through the top of the material that we want to leave behind. Another option we have to try to explore this further is the draw line feature, and that's something that doesn't require machine simulation. It's free built in directly to an Ike post for any user that has one. The draw line is enabled in the PST file. There are three switches that directly affect how the draw line feature works. The first is switch draw reposition, which controls whether or not it's used. The second is the draw level, which controls what level the geometry is drawn on. An important thing to note with the level is that every time we post, we clear all arcs and lines from that level. So just double check that you don't have any important geometry on that level because it could be purged away during posting. The third switch is the color of the line, which can be set to one of 16 colors that are allowable by Mastercam. The switches in the post can also be set using Ike Plus. When we post out the code with the draw line enabled, we see these red lines have been created during the undercut of the toolpath. This represents the path that the tool is going to take back up along its own axis and through the part. The way the draw line works that it tracks the points where we stop the cut and where we move the tool to during that retract motion and draws a line connecting them. In some cases, the approach back down from the safe height is on a separate line, in which case we would draw that line as well. One option we have for fixing this retract issue is to change our five axis solution. When we change it to use a positive tilt, it effectively rotates the C axis by 180 degrees. This pushes out the hitting of the C axis limit to the other side of the part. When we repost the operation, with the tilt solution changed, we see that the red lines representing the retract motion have been drawn 180 degrees out on the other side of the part where it's safe to perform that retract. If we run this same toolpath in machine simulation with the opposite tilt solution, we again see that the retracts are occurring in a safe position and we don't gouge through during the undercut. 